Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks, and I'm going to be taking you today on a tour of Gaylord Palms in National Harbor, Maryland. The purpose of my trip to National Harbor is to check out the MGM Casino. I've never been there. And we were driving home from South Carolina to Connecticut, and it was a perfect halfway point. Had to do it. If you're just finding my channel, welcome to my madness. My name is Jennifer Sparks and I travel all the time and I make videos about my resort stays. We're pulling into Gaylord Palms self-parking right now. They also have a valet parking option. MGM has a hotel that's right on site of the casino, but I chose to stay at the Gaylord Palms because MGM was outrageous. It's a Saturday night. And it was like $500 to stay there. If I had thought about it and remembered, I could have did a mobile check-in on the Marriott Bonvoy app, but I forgot. So we had to go to the desk to check in. I reserved a double room on the Marriott Bonvoy app. This was a free night award because I have the credit card. And when you join the credit card, you get three free nights up to 50,000 points, which is a really nice place. <laughs> so I was like, this is a great place to go check out to feel like I got a good value for that free night reward. This is my first time going to the National Harbor and staying in a Gaylord Palms and checking out the casino. So super excited about the new experience. Now let's go check out the view <laughs> at nighttime. It's a little glary, so it's hard to see. We're gonna go check out a better view in the morning. As you can see, the room is pretty basic. It was pretty, you know, similar in size to other resorts. You know, I was kind of expecting something a little with a little more wow factor for Gaylord Palms and how much the price was to stay there. But I think just everything in general in the area, it's very close to Washington, D.C. It was very expensive. The bed was very, very comfortable, I gotta say, and the pillows were really nice. They were perfect for me. The room wasn't bad, it just didn't feel very freshly remodeled, but it had all the modern technology and it had the, the plugs and the good lighting and the updated TV. It came with two bottles of water and there was also coffee that was free in the room. I have personally stayed in some casinos that offer these things in the room, but if you do drink the water or the coffee, they charge you. So it's good to know upfront whether they're complimentary or not. The room has a small bar size refrigerator and it also has streaming services on your TV, Netflix, Pandora, YouTube, so that's pretty cool. I'm on this trip with my husband, Kelly. We had taken a walk around to check out the food situation and we ended up getting <laughs> food in our room. We got cheesecake and this beautiful cop salad. They're having a cheerleading dance competition there and there was like probably 6,000 kids there. We love kids, but it was like, hey, you know, let's have a chill night <laughs> and get up super early in the morning. And that's what this is. This is like five o'clock in the morning. I really wanted to make a video about what it looks like at night, but it was like impossible. It was crazy, crazy busy there. Here is a look at what it looks like going through the front door. If you were to say, get dropped off, or if you're using the valet, this is where you would go and you'd have the guest services, the check-in on the left-hand side. This resort is beautiful and grand. And one of the most appealing thing is the atrium, which we're gonna be taking a walk through. And I'm gonna be showing you what it looks like at night and during the day. This video is filmed on February 4th, 2023 at 5 a.m. So come explore with me. I'm gonna be taking the escalator downstairs. We're gonna be going around, checking out the restaurants and the bars and all the little stores down here. It's really cool. It's got the big atrium, so you feel like you're walking around outside, but you're not. And thank God, because it was zero degrees. We were having a humongous cold front on the East Coast. It was freezing this night. So choosing this Gaylord Palms with the atrium and going to the MGM tomorrow, which I will be making a video next of, of course. <laughs> um, it was a good choice because, you know, when you're in a casino and it's like freezing out and snowing, you're not even aware of it. It's a great thing to do on a really cold day. The resort itself has a lot of wow factor and sort of like makes up for the rooms that are just, you know, sort of just so-so. The room for us was free, but we did have a resort fee added on top of it. I think it was like 20 something dollars. And there was also a parking fee of like $32. So that's just kind of unavoidable. If you are parking, there's a parking fee. Here is a super early in the morning look at Potomac District Cafe and Market. This is a place you could go get your Starbucks coffee in the morning. They have muffins and pastries and bagels you could toast and bring back to your room or they have some seating there. 
during lunchtime and dinner time, they also have burgers and things like sandwiches. So I think it's open to 11 o'clock in the evening. I will show you that in further detail a little later in the video. Have you ever personally stayed at the Gaylord Palms in National Harbor? Let me know in the comments below how your experience was. The Belvedere Lobby Bar was setting up for a very beautiful breakfast buffet. Had a good combination of hot and cold items. I believe it was $39.99. Came with coffee and juices. You'll see a little more of that later in the video. I always find, you know, buffets when reasonably priced, you know, like $40 and under for breakfast, is a very good value when it comes with the coffee and the juice, if you're going to be getting all that. Those of you watching that are my casino friends know what I'm talking about. Breakfast could be expensive. Just an entree alone could be $40. They also have a lunch buffet as well at Gaylord Palms. The breakfast buffet wasn't open yet, but I took a little sneaky peek in there just to see if I could film what it looks like. look really yummy um the hot items weren't prepared yet they were working on that i think it was like they were had like waffles and i don't know if it was like eggs benedict something like that so uh, i'm gonna go back to the room and i'm gonna go check out the view in the daytime and go wake my husband up and see what he wants to do for breakfast the old hickory steakhouse was closed for remodeling and they also have a rooftop lounge i had noticed that in the morning and unfortunately it was closed i wasn't able to film that harbor social opens in the evening and it was closed in the morning so i wasn't able to get in there but i tried to film it as good as i could um, they also gave us coupons and check-in for two free drinks it was two glasses of wine or two beers i believe i'm back in my room now that is the residence inn right across the street another marriott property Now for a little ride from our room down to the atrium and the glass elevators. Really cool experience. And we're going to be checking out the District Cafe and Marketplace again. My husband really wasn't into the buffet, so we're going to go grab some Starbucks coffee. But like what I was talking about before, if you were going to come here and get a coffee and a juice and an orange and a yogurt and an egg sandwich, you know, you might as well just go to the buffet. You could have everything for probably cheaper. This is a fantastic option, though, if you are on the run. There was a lot of, you know, like I said, there was a big cheerleading dance competition there. There was a lot of families there that just really just needed a quick grab and go before they went to the competition. And there's our Cobb salad that we had last night. It was really good. The coffee is Starbucks and they have the blonde, medium, and dark roast. We walked around and found a nice little quiet little space in the avenue to enjoy our coffee. 
Walking around, we noticed there was a bocce court. That was pretty neat. The MGM Casino is about a five minute drive from the Gaylord Palms. It is a really cool casino. It was really neat. I'm really happy I got to check it out. And like I said before, I'll have you having a video of that coming out very soon, probably next. Here's a look at the buffet going from a couple floors up. That would be the hot station right over there. We're trying to also go find a, a place where we can see a view of National Harbor because it's beautiful. It's just so cold. <laughs> I, I considered going outside to film it and my husband's like, what are you crazy? And I'm like, yeah, I am crazy. Uh, well, why don't we go and like go up and see if we can find, you know, a good view without like, you know, getting frostbite. Check this out, it's awesome. You do, however, need a working room key to get up here. The elevators do not move unless you have a room key. But if you are staying there and the lounge is closed and you have a less than desirable view from your room, you could go up to one of the higher floors. They have a beautiful little window that you could sit and, you know, just chill out and look at the beautiful view. See the plane going in for a landing? Like I said before, this is very close to Washington, D.C. That's going into Dulles Airport. Here's a little look at the window with the view. When leaving, you use your room key to get out of the parking garage. Don't throw it out. <laughs> Take it with you. You pay for the parking at check-in and you use your room key to get out. We're en route now to MGM Casino. They have valet parking at the casino for a fee or they have free self-parking. The ride was a very easy, uncomplicated five minutes away. I had seen this casino going south on 95 on my way to Myrtle Beach. I was like, what is that? An MGM? I didn't even know it was there. I was freaking out. I'm like, we have to go there on the way home. <laughs> so here we are pulling into MGM. I'm super excited. Look out for that video next. If you're still hanging with me, you are a total rock star. Look into the Marriott credit card if you want to stay here in places like this. It's really great. I really love it. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Be well to yourself and be kind to others and safe travels to you.